Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So recently I saw a piece of art by Lisa Swirling and I was so inspired to create one of my own and I want to show you guys how to do it. Mine is inspired by a song called You Gotta Go by Above and Beyond and the quote I love is dream on little dreamer. So today I'm going to show you all how I made this galaxy piece. What you're going to need is a picture frame that has a little bit of space between the glass and the backing. I got this at Ikea. You're also going to need a variation of glitter colors and glitter sizes. You're also going to need makeup sponges, a variation of acrylic paints, paint brushes along with a clear adhesive. First start off by taking out the back of your picture frame and removing the frame from the inside. So you're going to use the back piece of the picture frame as your canvas. So I'm going to start painting it black. Don't paint the whole thing black, but you don't have to be neat with this whatsoever. You're painting the galaxy, so add different colors, different nebulas. You can't really go wrong with creating a galaxy. So I'm adding different variations of reds and blues. You can also go in with your sponge. You want to start with the darker colors in the background and work from dark to light. If you really need to, you can use a galaxy image for reference, but I'm just trying to freehand this. Once you have all your colors set, you're going to add in a little bit of white specks, and these are going to be the different clusters of stars. Even go in with your paintbrush and add small teeny tiny stars that are in the distance of the galaxy. You should have something that's done like this. Let your galaxy dry and take out the inside frame of your picture frame and begin painting that black as well. Once your painting is dry, you're going to use some sort of adhesive for the glitter. I'm using spray adhesive, but I would recommend Mod Podge. So I already have this sprayed. You can see that the spray adhesive kind of dulled down the colors. That's why I recommend Mod Podge. And just go in and sprinkle your glitter all over the painting. Once you have the glitter on the corresponding colors, use your fingers to kind of rub it into the adhesive so that it doesn't come off and it sticks firmly. Once you're done, repeat these steps for the outside frame. So I'm going to add a quote. I just printed a quote on a paper and I'm cutting it with an X-Acto knife and roller. I'm going to use Mod Podge to attach the piece of paper to a piece of foam so it's elevated from the painting and not directly on the glitter. So just paint some Mod Podge on and stick your piece of paper on, let that dry, and cut the rest of the foam. You can leave as much border as you like. Now place some glue or Mod Podge on the back of your foam and we're going to place it down onto the painting in your desired position. I have a teeny tiny figure that I had from a previous project I got at a hobby shop and I thought it was perfect for this piece. I'm gluing him to the outer rim of the frame and I'm going to now place the whole picture frame back together with the painting in the background. Secure it tightly and you are done. You now have a beautiful customized piece of art that only took a couple hours of work. You can give these as a Christmas gift or keep it for yourself. I really love this piece of art and it means so much to me. Dream on my little dreamers. I'll see you all later. Bye.